What's good, Stitch Gang? It's your girl, Stitchy, back with another video. Welcome back to my channel, S-T-U-S-A Gang. What's up with y'all today? If you are new to the channel, my name is Stitchy. Hey, how you doing? To all my returning subscribers, y'all see my hand moving them back. I look like Drick. Because I'm so animated. To all my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back to check out another video. I'm going to be heading on the road in a short, and I'm going to just be doing some Saturday errands. So if you're interested in watching, stay tuned for the video. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button, click that notification bell button, and give the video a big thumbs up. Without any further ado, let's go. So I'm in my car right now. My roommate got me this um, car, tripod, dashboard type of thing. However, it fits on my dashboard glass. but. I have a Canon GX7 and with the mirrorless camera, you cannot, I'm not trying to get copyrighted, stop playing me. Um, with the Canon GX7 camera, there is a flip up mirrorless screen. So with that being said, it's kind of hard against the dashboard for me to see myself with the camera. So just to be in focus, I put it on my side mirror. Excuse me, my lip gloss is I put it on my side mirror so you guys can see me during my commute. So hopefully this ain't bad. I don't know. It's a little weird though, cause I like the, face to face but like, I need to figure out where my tripod is because last time I remember it was in my car because not in my room so hold on tripod I gotta find my tripod I don't know where my tripod is because I might just I don't know I gotta get my life but the um, detail shop slash car wash to get my car cleaned I need the interior cleaned because after that snowstorm that we had if you haven't seen my snowstorm vlog be sure to check that out I'll link it somewhere up here um, so we had a snowstorm, so I'm trying to get rid of all that salt and stuff that was left on my car and I'm getting a car wash so Hopefully it shouldn't take too long because I'm really hungry so I need to get, like get back home or grab something to eat on the road But that's where I'm at right now waiting for Onyx to be clean. My car's name is Onyx yeah. She's getting glam today I'm currently waiting to wash my car and this line girl is super duper long. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is my favorite part ever about the car wash, obviously. It's calming, changes colors on you, makes you feel like you're in a nightclub or something, but it's calming. You don't have all that noise and all that stuff. in the background y'all know where we at y'all know we might do some damage actually we have to go into this knowing that we're not going to do damage i think that's the best way to execute this plan so i'm going to go straight to the aisles that i need to go to nowhere else that was a pretty good wink okay let's go Target? I missed you, boo. The entry is always a problem. Look at these Valentine's Day stuff. These shits are so cute. Huh. Oh. What is this? Oh, this is cute. Cute, cute, cute. Do I need any of these? Um, no. So. Oh my god, I'm about to run this little girl over. She cute, she cute, she only three dollars. And it's pink, can't go wrong, add to cart. This brand, Wild Fable, is a vibe. Like, they put out so many cute stuff. Accessories, shades, ooh, these are just calling my name. Excuse me. These are a vibe too. We should do some try-ons, let me see. These are a vibe too, okay, see what I'm talking about? These are a vibe, girl. These are a vibe, girl, yes, yes. Let me see, I need a mirror. 
gonna meet up at the same. This is cute, but I don't know where to wear that to right now. Look at these, y'all. Look at these. These are cute. I like these. I like these. How much are these? Ten. Shades like these already though, so I don't really need these. And there's these. These are five. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. ET dubs. This is the OOTD. Calm, comfy. You know. Yeah. This is too cold to be dressed in cute, girl. I ain't like on top of that. Now, I know y'all saw that there was snow outside, right? Look, they already got bathing suits up in here. That bag is kind of cute. Excuse me. Yeah, this is mad cute. But I'm not touching a beach right now, so. But these bathing suits, like, hello? Y'all not playing. They don't, they don't even wait for the groundhog to come up. I like the new and improved Target. Look at all these face masks. There are a ton a face mask in here like I didn't even know these people made face masks like simple I actually really like their um face products your look at this this is crazy so I've now moved on to food shopping getting some organic stuff or semi-organic semi-healthy stuff I think I want this basmati rice I like basmati rice and jasmine rice PF things. I'm not getting too many things today because I already went to the supermarket two days ago. I'm just getting some light pickups. This is also not helping me much because I'm starving. So I have to like hurry up and get home, make some eat, or buy something on the road. So let me hurry and get out of here. Collect, collect my tummy and collect my pockets because it's hard in here. Right Cake in a cup. That's, I should try one of these. Hmm. I've always wanted to make these at home, like homemade, but I've never done it because they already got time, really. Although it's supposed to be a lot easier than making a whole cake. I don't know, but look at these. Have you guys ever made these or tried them? Looks really good. Even this one, cinnamon roll. Oh my god, girl. I'm hungry. Okay, let's check out the few items that I've got. Okay, so would y'all believe there's a method to my madness? Let me explain this. So, I have two major debit cards. So, the one that I brought with me to the store, I try not to keep any money on it because I will spend it. So, with that being said, the one that I keep at home with pretty much all my money on it, I keep it at home for a reason so I don't overspend. But, I can still transfer from one account to the next. Well, one bank account to the next. So, that usually works out well if it's under the same account. It usually goes automatically. But sometimes from one bank to another bank, it takes a little time, usually not as long as it took a while ago, girl. So I'm at self-checkout because I like to check my shit out myself, like why would I want to wait in line behind nine elderly individuals after they unpack two months of groceries to put on the registered why wait for all that. No. So I'm at self-checkout and obviously I transferred money, but I didn't, I was walking around the store for at least an hour, but I didn't do it from like when I got in the store, which is what I should have done. However. I transferred it maybe like a minute or two before getting to self checkout. So I'm inserting my card now and it calls for customer assistance. A bitch don't need assistance. I know how to check out. But apparently there was no money on the card. Like there was not enough money on the card. There was money on the card but not enough to check the items out. And obviously I do this for a reason so I don't overspend one. And um, just I'm trying to be mindful of where my money is going in 2019 because I've spent a shit ton of money. I probably could have been at least at my halfway point of being a millionaire by now. So, that being said, came over and I realized, I'm like, let me check my account. Okay, the money didn't send over. It didn't It didn't transfer over. So I'm like, okay, let me try to send another um, amount just in case, like, this one's taking too long. Maybe the connection was bad, so let me try to do it again. It's like you already sent your payment, you can't send again. Just because, just in case there's fraud, you know, they're just being precautious. So, I'm like, okay, cool. So, 
luckily what I had to do is I brought all my stuff from Target to customer service or some shit like that. I brought it to customer service. Everything was already in the bag just because I told them I'm, I have like there's money on the card. I'm not about to front like there's not money on the card or you know what I'm saying and then waste your time like there's money on the card. So and I showed the girl you know you gotta <laughs> tell her like I didn't come here with nothing in my pocket to cash. No. anybody got time for that. So I had to go to customer services and then I waited there until the I tried to wait there until the money transferred over but it was still taking forever so what I did do I made a cash app long long time ago for both of my accounts so I have a cash app for my Chase and my Bank of America so sometimes prior to like working Zelle I don't know if you guys are familiar with Zelle but it's a way for you to send money to different people with different banks and stuff like that so prior to making my Zelle account I was doing that so I would cash out from one account to a next bank account so that's what I had to do I had to go back to tr my traditional way of sending myself money to send myself enough money to check these items out and again I said I do this for my own reasons mostly because I know I will overspend, especially Target. Like, I was already picking up stuff for check out. I'm like, well, before I got to check out, I'm like, okay, what do you really need here? Because normal me would buy everything, but then I don't need everything. So it's like, like a while ago, I was buying um, waffle mix, but I just bought waffles like three days ago. Like, why? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of it is just to keep myself tunnel vision. Like, yeah. So, whatever, moral of the story is. Um, bring both your cards now nah, that's not the moral of the story but moral of the story is send yourself whatever money you need before way before going to check out usually that's what i do i send myself the money from i like leave the house so i know like what i'm going there to spend or what i'm spending or what i have to spend but today i just decided to wait until i was checking out and the service in there was horrible so i don't want to send but cash app worked automatically and that's another reason why i like cash app kind of over zelle but i get it now so, I got my shit and I'm gonna take my ass home. I'm gonna make something to eat because I'm starving, girl. Okay, so I am back home. Finally, back home. I'm starving. I'm gonna find something to eat. I am going to situate my life and um, let me show y'all something. Hang on. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody look at this. That, my dear, is a Christmas tree that is still up. Chances are I'm going to take down that Christmas tree after finding some food. I'm gonna turn on my TV, find something on Netflix to watch. Last night I watched a bomb ass movie called The Negotiator with Samuel Jackson, okay? Black History Month, shout out to him. And he's a pretty well known actor if you don't know him, like Morgan Freeman, Samuel Jackson, they're like two and two, like, no, okay. All right, my Christmas tree is still up, so I have to definitely take that down today. I'm gonna be taking down my Christmas tree. I'm probably just gonna take down some of it because I know I'm gonna get lazy and I have waffles, chicken sausage, and eggs that I'm making currently. I'm probably just gonna take down some of the ornaments and then hopefully my roommate will wanna help me with taking down the rest of the tree. It's all fun and games to put up the tree, but taking it down can be a challenge, especially if you don't feel like doing it. It's February, what, 3rd and when was Christmas? Yeah, it's cute. I think I'm gonna plug it in one last time. Hang on. I'm gonna miss her. She's so cute. But it's okay. Next year we're gonna do it whole again. Let me plug this back out and let me start taking this stuff down and I'll speed it up a little bit. Enjoy. It's not that easy to take down, girl. I don't even know where to start. Okay. I'm just placing it in the little jar that they initially came in the ornaments. Awesome. Luckily, we didn't put too many ornaments around here because obviously no one could see it, but we still got a ton of ornaments on here. This might be Valentine's Day, girl. You still got your Christmas tree up? I'm judging you. Is it lazy for me to leave the garland on till next year? No? These are cookies. These, we kind of made them. Well, we didn't make the cookie. We bought the cookie and then we decorated them, but girl. 
garbage. I made this one, isn't it cute? Girl, I'm so hungry I could eat these and these are probably still as hell by now. So the first part of the tree is down, see? Took down the first half. So I'm gonna take a break, I'm going to eat my food and I'm going to probably come back to this later on on my roommate's home. Also, if you like today's look, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up or let me know if you like the look in the comments. I'll do a Valentine's Day look for you guys, something similar to this, or I might just recreate this entirely. I did film it. <coughs> mm. you. I did film it, but I wasn't too, too happy with the end result. So I'll definitely be a little bit more precise with the liner and all that good stuff. But if you want a video or a tutorial for this look, then make sure you leave me a little comment down below so if you made it to the end thanks for watching the entire video thanks for checking in be sure to click that like button if you like the video give it a big thumbs up be sure to also click the notification bell that way you're notified every single time i mean every single time that i upload a new video to be a part of the gang all you got to do is subscribe so make sure you click that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed join the gang i'll see you guys in the next video bye